Hi, this is Emma from the product team at Gradle.com. I'm going to show you some great new things we've added to Gradle.com. We're just getting started, but we have some really awesome features we've just shipped. I'm here to show you how to get things set up to create your first build receipt. I'm going to assume you've got experience with the Gradle build tool. If not, please head over to gradle.org to learn more about it there. You also need to know how to edit a build script. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is find my way to gradle.com and then I'm going to create a build receipt. And basically what we're doing to get this set up, we're going to configure your build and then run your build with a new command deliver receipt. So the first step is pretty simple. Copy this snippet and we're going to add it to the Gradle build file. So we're going to click this icon to copy it and then go ahead and open the Gradle build file and paste it in here. Don't forget to save it. And then we go back to gradle.com and now we're going to run the build. We need to add this new parameter to the build command. So we go ahead and copy that as well. And then we're going to hop over to the terminal window and paste it in. And then we're going to run the build. And what's new here is this link at the bottom. So if we access this link, we get to the see inside your build page. Here you'll enter your email. And if you like, you can check this remember me box so that you don't have to authenticate for the next 90 days and hit go. You now need to go and check your email. So let's head over there. And this is going to give you a see inside your build link. And once you click on that, here you are at your first build receipt. What you're going to see for now is reasonably modest. It's only going to get more powerful as we add more features. But take a minute to think about how much this is going to help you understand about the health of your project, your team, and your software. So let's have a look. You can see that the build ran and you have access to the full console output for this build. We also have a failure section in the case of a build that failed. We've got a summary and the ability to drill into more details as well. Next up you can see um, the list of executed tasks, uh, the summary shows the longest running tasks, the outcome and the execution time. Once expanded, the task section shows you a full list of executed tasks. The project card allows you to drill down into your project's hierarchy. For Dependencies card, um, which is up next, you can see all the resolved configurations for the projects within your build. For each project, you can see its resolved configurations and the time it took to resolve it. And of course, all the dependencies it contains. The Plugins card shows you all the plugins applied to your projects. You can search for any given plugin as well. You can also see the project, uh, the plugins by project. The switches card shows various Gradle features and whether they were used when executing this build. This can help you diagnose problems. You can also easily share the build using this share button. It will copy the URL to your clipboard so you can easily share the build receipt with someone who can help you with it, anybody who's interested in what you're doing, or possibly a person that can help you sort out a problem. And that's it. So please go ahead and give it a try.